Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to cite three different types of articles using the most recent APA style guidelines from the seventh edition. The first one I'm going to show you is a peer reviewed journal article with a DOI. The second one I'm going to show you is a article without a DOI. And the third one I'm going to show you is an article that was just found on the internet. So this first one is from the Journal of Popular Film and Television, which is an academic peer-reviewed journal. And most articles from academic peer-reviewed journals are going to have something called a DOI. And if you have a source that is retrieved absolutely anywhere that has a DOI, that is APA's first choice. They want you to include the DOI at the end of the citation. Notice that it is a hyperlink. And notice that they don't have anything before it. It doesn't say the letters DOI like it used to in the older edition. Um, the next option, the next article you see here, I actually got this from a database, from an EBSCO database, um, but it is a magazine, a na the National Review is a magazine, and it doesn't have the, um, a DOI. And what APA wants you to do in this circumstance is that they don't want any kind of web address at the end of this. They assume that this is widely available in many databases and anyone who wants to find it can just, you know, search for the title in the magazine or the author. And they do not want any kind of permalink or any indication of what database this came from. They just want you to cite it the same way you would cite it if you had the actual physical magazine in front of you, which is with no web address at the end and no DOI because it's not available. Um, the third source you see here is an article I just got off the regular internet by Googling, looking for articles about Back to the Future. Um, and this comes from a magazine that's published online uh, called Entrepreneur. And in this case, what APA wants is they just want a direct link to the article where it's a, a stable link where the article's probably going to be when someone goes to click on it in the future. Um, let me just call attention to a few more formatting issues. Uh, with how to write database citations. You'll notice, um, you know, authors' last names, um, only first initials for authors. This is a great example of how to write to authors. Um, you'll notice some differences in the way the dates are written. Because this is an academic journal, APA generally just wants the year, um, but because these are magazines that are published weekly or daily, sometimes they want the full date written out in this kind of formatting. You'll notice also that the article title, um, APA wants most words not capitalized in the article title. Uh, the exceptions would be, you know, the first word here, nobody, the first word after the colon, and a proper noun like a, like a film title here, which they also have in italics. But in general, article titles, um, words are not capitalized unless they're proper nouns. Um, they're not italicized unless they're something like a movie title. Um, you'll notice the name of the periodical is in italics, and that is capitalized headline style. You know, National Review is capitalized, Journal, Popular Film, Television is capitalized. Um, if the magazine or journal has a volume number or an issue number or both, those go right here. The volume number is in italics. Um, the issue number is in parentheses, and it's not in italics, which is kind of weird. And then finally, the page numbers that it would appear in, in the print publication. This was originally published in print, so was this. Um, this was not, so you'll notice there's no page numbers. Um, this also does not have volume and issue numbers. That's fine. If they're not there, you just skip them. All right, so that should cover uh, most scenarios that you're going to come across in citing articles in APA.